And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're going to go over the Madden market now. The market prices are kind of all over the place right now. There is no like consistency to it at all. At one point, it was going really low. And now, this is kind of all over the place. Some cards are super low. Some cards are kind of expensive. Some cards are beyond the usual meeting of where these cards usually sit at. Now, it is Sunday, of course, but that shouldn't be changing the prices too much. And, like, on a Sunday, it should just be average price. There shouldn't be, like, an increase, decrease, especially right now at this time. Kind of weird to be completely honest with you guys. Now, what I'd have to think right now is, for some reason, the draft promo, I mean, it's, it's like a typical case of draft players come out everyone wants to play with the rookies and people forget about the other cards for a few days or so so that could be just people not caring about other cards so we're leaving them on the block and the price is rising as, a, as a, the case of it and then with some of the new cards being super cheap now what do we have coming up next that could affect market i mean as of right now we just had the draft promo so for now we have a pretty decent break i believe until the next like a normal style promo it depends if ea wants to put in some like type of you know whatever whatever they want to put in like a you know, motivators and want to throw any of those stuff in yeah but other than that i think we should have ultimate legends now i believe next saturday's ultimate legends should be banger i have this feeling about a lawrence taylor level weekend hoping so but guys before we get into the markets today we go over the prices and kind of things have been flipping make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that on to boys can join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already make sure down below and like this video if you haven't enjoyed the content now let's head over to the auction block and check everything out now we're gonna start off with the 98s guys i'm gonna keep it mainly in on the high range obviously because cards are so cheap at this point of the year like most people can at least afford one of the higher tier cards but people only care about that at this point in the year start at the 98 start with the golden tickets i feel like that's an interesting spot to start with just to go over kind of where they're sitting at are golden tickets going to be obtainable this year it, it doesn't appear like they will so one of the cheapest and least brand name golden tickets is cravant leblanc at 2 million coins now could we afford one yes will i buy a 99 over cravant leblanc no i will not Compare him to one of my cornerbacks, I really just don't think it's worth it. Compared to Deion Sanders, obviously, it's the press. Besides the press, they're pretty much equal because with the cams and everything, the zone men and play record to the same thing. So actually, no, Deion's better. Deion's way better because he has the athleticism. It's just the press that he misses out on. But you expect that with the Deion card, so it's not like I didn't expect it. I expect anything else. Calvin Benjamin, again, one of the worst golden tickets that I just can't do with that speed. Not a fan, way too slow. So one of the guys that I actually would consider is this Troy Palomalo, and I am... 800,000 yeah 800,000 coins short for this guy it's just beyond, it's on beyond belief now who do i really want like that's a golden ticket i want michael vick i'd want really i just want michael vick that's really it michael vick and julio i'm not really a fan of that bo jackson i feel like he's just an overpriced version of saquon barkley like obviously he's good saquon's not too far behind with chems but this mike vick is insane i want either him or the lamar jackson or even the rg3 which just it's just too expensive like i, I have 2.8 million coins i'm not going to be able to garner up 6 million and then even if I did, I'm not going to put it all in one player. It's kind of ridiculous. Will this be obtainable at all year? I really don't think so. I think that the only way they'll be obtainable is if EA lets them be obtainable, which is an uncontrolled element that we can't really decide on. Like like in a month, if EA does like a topper with a free Nat Golden ticket, or if they do a, a house rules with a Nat Golden ticket, or if they do a limited time sale with a Nat Golden ticket, potentially, if they do any of that, I can't control that. But like on a basis of like market availability, the only time these guys could be potentially affordable per se is maybe like a month or two from now when everything's like not everything's 99 gold and these cards are just another card and these become like 800k, 500k. But that's gonna be like so, but that, that's at a point where people don't care anymore. So like I don't want to base things off of people not caring anymore. It just doesn't make sense to me. But like for, for the recent future, I don't think so. It comes to Ultimate Legends, which has been one of the ones I've kind of flipped. Now, Golden Tickets have came back up a little bit. They were dropping a bit, but you know, I got away for Golden Ticket Thursdays and stuff. And the other thing is that older Golden Tickets do increase their, the odds of them getting pulled actually decrease after their two like few day window after they get released. So they actually get more rare afterwards than they just go up in price. Now, Ultimate Legends are actually going up right now, which I find kind of weird, which I think is what I was kind of, I was kind of referring to this when I said that people are so focused on rookies right now in the draft, they're not really caring about Ultimate Legends. Cause like these guys were all like 199, 180, 2, 205, 210. Now they're all 230. So I do not recommend, or 260 even. I do not recommend you buy Ultimate Legends right now. I do not think that's a good buy in the slightest at all. For instance, do I like John Randall? Yes, but do I like my 325K? It appears that I'm 306, 306. We got anything else? At around 300K? No, I think he's more of a 250 type card, especially with draft cards being 98 overalls and being only 180. Obviously, they can't get sprinter cams, which is probably a decent factor in that pricing but i think they could potentially add it at some point jim brown brand new running back 366 honestly kind of cheap considering he came out yesterday but not really great running back at all in terms of some of the other guys so i could see why he's so cheap already as we move on down bruce smith not worth that price tag just get aaron donald for cheap uh cheaper jerry rice at 474 what is that 425 
That's that's ridiculous for Jerry Rice. He's really not all that in terms of that price because there's a lot more you can do right now. In my opinion, all these ultimate legends that have been dropping recently just haven't been that good. They just haven't. I don't know why, but I'm waiting for a nice Randy Moss. I'm waiting for a Lawrence Taylor. And those are what we need. Lawrence Taylor, Randy Moss, Deion Sanders maybe if they want to drop one of him. And a Sean Taylor. Those are the bangers. that We need the Taylors, the Moss, and potentially Dion. That's all we need at Ultimate Legends. But right now, the pricing on these Ultimate Legends are way too expensive. I do not recommend you scoop any of these right now. Wait for next Saturday. Wait for a promo. We're kind of like in a Madden Limbo period in terms of Ultimate Legends. Now, let's move on over to, let's see, what, what's a base that we can go through? Because we did Ultimate Legends Golden Tickets. I want to go through the draft promo, but I, I know we have to separate these. So, let's see. Let's go through Draft Class 20. So, Draft Class 20. Honestly, not horrible, although I did see Tua for like 198. So prices, again, they're still coming up. I just saw Tua for 198 like 30 minutes ago. The prices are coming up here again. So these are finally rising a little bit now. The issue with them is I don't think they'll come back down just yet because they're already super cheap to begin with. Who's worth it from here, though, at their current price point? Chase Young is not a bad buy at 220. Would I wait to see if he gets cheaper? Yes, but he's not horrible. The only thing that sucks, he doesn't get Sprinter. I'm not a fan of Jeff Okuda, in my opinion. Tua Tagle by Low is great, but he does not get Escape Artist. So that's my issue with him. Andrew Thomas, he's a left tackle. I mean, if you don't, if you want him, Walter Jones, Joe Thomas, it's kind of just all preference at that point. And then, of course, we've got Joe Burrow. Now, Joe Burrow is a decent buy at 295. Where is he? Yeah, 295. It's a decent buy, 292, actually. But again, can't get sprinter, which just kind of sucked. But this card's still pretty amazing. The throw power is a little bit low, but still a really cheap 99 overall quarterback option if you can't afford Mahomes. So that's, that's something to think about. And then, of course, let me show you guys Mahomes and the quarterback. So that's another big thing right now with people deciding. Now, if you have to go quarterback at this point in the year, Mahomes obviously still always one of the best options, but it all comes down to his current price. So let's go check that out. Now, Cam Newton was not bad. Cam Newton's not a bad quarterback in the slightest. Really good stats, actually. He's practically like Mahomes, just with a little bit more speed, and then you lose a little bit of the mid and deep. So kind of like the sacrifice you're taking there, but he's not bad at all. Still a decent option, but let's go on down to Mahomes and Lamar. Peyton Manning was decent, but his throw power is just super, super low, and he has no mobility at all. I'd much rather have Mahomes, who has similar similar stuff and now see here's the thing for an extra 100k or even 80k from joe burrow you can get yourself a patty mahomes he has finally dropped in price so i recommend i think pat mahomes is still the best value in the game throwing and running wise with that throw power still the best quarterback in madden now lamar is still really really expensive so i do not recommend him and of course we have the golden tickets now let's move on down a little bit out of here to team of the years because obviously i've been telling you guys about team of the years for a while there's some pretty decent value. At first off, low ultimate legends and team builders, super good values right now. Some of them you can get for below 100k. Trust me, take advantage of that. And obviously the drafts. So now team of the year cards are a great, great value as well. Like all these cards are just great values because they're going to be so cheap. And if you remember, all these cards could potentially be powered up to like end game type cards. Like Minka Fitzpatrick, great example. 93 speed, 94 zone, 89 hit power. Powered up, chemmed up with Sprinter and Jab Madden, 97, right? You can get Minka like end game for 93,000 coins plus powered up, of course. So like Calais Campbell, powered him up. You get to power past his NFL honors just by having him. So you can get him to like a 99 powered up overall kind of just about for a little bit over 100k when you power up and do everything. So a lot of these cards are great values. You can literally turn 100k cards into a potentially end game budget cards. So like I would just recommend you look into all this, of course. And then Aaron Donald's one guy that I still have my eye on at all times. 169, trust me, just as good as Bruce Smith. Power up, chem him up, you won't regret it. Just as good as Bruce Smith and you save about 300k. So I highly recommend you look into that. And then of course we have the draft class 20 guys. Um, there's some pretty good cards coming out of here. Now guys, one card specifically that I really like, I'll go over in a second now, Jerry Judy. Decent. I wish he had Sprinter. I, I wouldn't personally use him on my team. Tristan Wirfs, again, decent card. But the guys that I really care about, I mean, I really like CD Lamb. CD Lamb looks great. His catching looks amazing. I just wish you can get Sprinter on these guys. It's the only thing that sucks. But let's move on down. There's one guy specifically that I think actually might even make my squad, which says a lot considering these are 96 overalls I typically don't buy in this range anymore. But there's one guy specifically that I am looking for. Let's find him. Oh, right here. Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons looks like he could really take a spot in my squad. I'll show you guys why. So I would move him to left outside linebacker, of course. Now, what does he have at left outside? What have I been looking for all year? I've been looking for speed. Okay, check. Excel, check. Tackle, pretty decent. Play rec, decent. Now, block shit's low. I have to take the L on that. But my left outside linebacker does not pass rush. He does not. So I personally wouldn't be looking for that. I'd actually be looking for zone coverage, which... Oh, and 77 catching. I'm looking for catching as well. So now let's see what his zone is. I've been looking for at least an 80. And what does he have? He has a 90 zone coverage. This is perfect. I'd move him to left outside linebacker. Guys, I'm telling you, if you run a scheme where you are one uh, guy pass rushes and the other outside linebacker is in a zone, 
this is the move you want to be going at all times isaiah simmons is going to be a monster in that kind of scheme i highly recommend him guys to all you guys who want to who've been looking for something similar it's literally a safety at end i'm telling you guys but he's gonna play outside linebacker instead i recommend you guys try him up guys i better for the video right now do i recommend buying i recommend you wait I throw in some pointers on who I think you should buy out of this, out of these uh, pots of players. But in my opinion, I think things are kind of expensive. Wait for things to drop a little bit more. Things are more expensive than usual, actually. But that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Turn on those only bubble boys. Come join the family. And as always, like the video if you have enjoyed today's content. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.